Hello and welcome back to Villa View. It is round three of the quiz. It's currently 1-1 between me and Dan. And this week we're back to specialist subjects. Specialist subjects this week being David O'Leary for Dan and the cup runs of 09 to 2010 season for me. So let's get into it and see where we can go where it's 1-1 in the series currently. Who was O'Leary's first Villa signing? Uh, Gavin McCann. Correct. Yeah. Which French midfielder did Villa sign in the 2004-05 season? Matteo Burson. Correct. Where did Villa finish in their first season under O'Leary? Sixth. Correct. Which more brother made more appearances in the 2003-04 season? Luke or Stefan? <sighs> Stefan. Wrong. Which one scored more goals that season? Uh, Stefan. Wrong. <laughs> Name three Scandinavians we had in our 03 04 squad. Uh, I can't imagine I'm getting the right season isn't it? I think I am. Jonsson. Yeah. Melberg. Yeah. Uh, Sorensen. Wrong. Oh, that's right. No, that's right. That's right. Yeah, that's, Carry yeah, on. Sorry, it is right, yeah. yeah. Name the two kit makers under O'Leary. Uh, Deodora. Yep. And. Oh, it was a rubbish make. Hummel. Correct. Who sponsored Villa in O'Leary's final season at Villa? Uh, DWS. No, 32 Red. Wrong. No, DWS. Idiot. <laughs> Who were joint top scorers in the 05 06 season? Barrosh. Yeah. And Steve Davis. Wrong. Who scored no, a winner? Oh, so I know who he's now. Who scored a winner in the 1 0 win over Birmingham City in October 2005? Kevin Phillips. Correct. Which Villa goalkeeper joined the season for joined Wolves on loan during the 05 06 season? Pasma. Correct. Which goalkeeper did Villa sign from Arsenal in 2005? Stuart Taylor. Correct. Where did Villa finish the season of 2005-06? Uh, 15th. Wrong. Top goal scorer for 2004-05. Angel. Wrong. Our oh. striker made a goal scoring debut in a 2 0 win over Southampton in 2004. Carson Cole. Correct. True or false, Villa lost both games to Birmingham City in the 04-05 season. False. Wrong. Which player did Villa sign on loan in the 04 05 season but failed to make an appearance? Uh, Drobner. Correct. When did Villa O'Leary lose his job? What year or what month? Month. Month. Uh, June. Wrong. June. Oh. Which okay. round in the League Cup did Villa reach in 2003 04? <laughs> uh, semi final. Correct. Yes. Right on the buzzer. God. Then you said Stefan, it was actually Luke. Which Luke season was that? 0304. Is that Low Leary's first season? Yeah. Luke made 13, Stefan made 12. In his first season? Yeah. That's wrong. It isn't. Who more didn't play that season? He did. No. He made his debut against Wickham in the Cup. Oh dear. Okay. Actually, I've made a mistake. Uh, it's the next season, I'm sure it is. I've made a mistake. Yeah, he didn't score in 03 04. No, he did. But for Wickham. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. I'm having that one. Yeah, we'll leave it and we'll just say you got it right. We'll work it out. Who scored three against Reading in the FA Cup quarter final? Carew. Yeah. Who scored the other goal? said Petro. No. How many goals did Nathan Delfonso score in cup competitions that season? Two. Yes. Who scored our first goal in the league cup final second leg, semi-final second leg against Blackburn at Villa Park? Ashley Young. No. Who was Blackburn's manager at the time? Allardyce. Yeah. Who partnered Gabby Abbott up front in the league cup final against Manchester United? Peru? 
No. Who was Villa's captain against Blackburn in the FA Cup third round as Petrov was rested? Young. No. Who missed a penalty against Cardiff in the League Cup third round, hitting the post? Milner. Yeah. Which former Villa keeper was in goal for Cardiff that night? Enkelman. Yes. Brad Guzan played every round of the League Cup until the final. What squad number was he that season? 22. Yes. How many penalties did Guzan save overall in the round four League Cup win against Sunderland in the 120 minutes and the shootout? Four. Yes. Who was our top scorer in the League Cup run? Ashley Young. No. How many FA Cup replays did Villa play that season? Two. No. Ricardo Skimeka played against Villa in the League Cup that season. True or false? False. No. Which now Midlands base goalkeeper was in goal for Manchester United against us in the League Cup final? Ben Foster. No. <laughs> what? No. True or what? false? Curtis Thank Davis you. was. It's not him. It's Kusha. Oh, it's Kusha. Yeah. True or false? Curtis Davis was on the bench in that League Cup final for Villa. True. False. Which former Villa player was in? Which sorry? Which former Reading player was involved for Villa against them in the FA Cup quarter final? Against two, sorry. Reading. As against two. Villa against Reading. Nicky Shorey. No. John Carew was the top scorer in the whole of the FA Cup that season. True or false? False. True. Drogba and Lampard scored against Villa in the three 0 FA Cup semi final win. Who was the other scorer? Maluda. Yes. How many of the 18 selected players for Villa in the League Cup final were academy graduates? Seven. Two. Oh. That's it. Not bad. It's going to be close, I think. So that was... I can't even describe what's happened. I, I, I sort of revised the wrong sort of area because I just went with the League Cup and didn't think about the FA Cup run. So that means that now Dan is winning in the series 2-1 and he did win quite comfortably 13-8. Just a quick explanation as to why Dan has 13 points rather than 11. It's the two questions regarding the Moore brothers were given as wrong. However, from a mistake by myself meant that they were given as correct. Needless to say that in the end of it, it hasn't really mattered too much as Dan did win quite a comfortable margin. Um, we'll make sure that none of these errors do happen again in future episodes again. Apologies for that if you are a little bit confused. Men against boys. I, I've got nothing to say for that performance. I'm quite ashamed considering I went to so many of those games in that cup run. So it is 2-1 in the series. If you are enjoying this series, make sure you drop us a like below. Thanks to Dan for joining me today. Also drop us a comment below. What do you make of the series and everything else? And subscribe to the channel. Also drop us a few comments below. Hey, well, did you do in the quiz? Are you going along with the quiz as well? Let us know on our social media channels as well. Make sure you're following them. That is all for the Villa View today.